Hi, my name is Erica Rich. I currently live in Nashville, Tennessee, originally from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Uh, I'm 25 years old. I've been living in Nashville for the past three years now. Um, the past six months, I've had the privilege to get my real estate license back, uh, start my own meal prep business here in Nashville, and I was also a yoga instructor for a few studios here, and was just recently given some news that has kind of rocked my world and changed the next course of my life. And I was diagnosed with stage four breast cancer at the age of 25. That was HR2 positive that has advanced it from my right breast into my lymph node. And uh, we just recently found out that it moved to my liver. Um, the past year of my life, I started uh, my 2018 off uh, doing yoga teacher training and uh, just embarking on a healthy lifestyle and then my entire life I've been a professional athlete. I've played soccer since I could walk and at this point in my life it was just something where I just felt like I was invincible. I drank more green smoothies than anybody I knew. I did more yoga than anybody I knew and then just received news that you it was just kind of something that you never thought someone would say to you at the age of 25, especially. Um, so now this next course of my life is kind of up in the air. Three weeks ago, I was touring condos with my real estate team and cooking food for my clients during the week. And I'm now having to kind of uproot everything that I knew and created for myself to essentially uh, fight for my life with those around me. So. It's going to be a journey and a fight that I know was given to me because it's something that I can handle and take on. And right now at this time I'm just asking for prayers and love and support and just help with this next just piece of my life that I'm about to take on and so much unknown. Um, as a realtor and as someone who runs her own business. Uh, the money that I make is the money that I make and that involves me having to work so just being independent and getting to where I am it's been really hard to ask for help and it's been really hard to accept all the love just because I still feel so fine and have such a smile on my face but I know these next few months of my life are going to be something that I could have never imagined for myself so right now I'm just looking for support with things to be able to help with medical costs for something like stage 4 cancer um, is not something I was expecting. And from the research I've done, I know there's a lot out there to help cure this, to help fight this, and I know it's going to be something that's going to be very pricey <laughs> and at 25. Um, the biggest thing I own right now is like a car for student loans and now I have to include medical bills and try and find ways to pay my rent, so with just people's help, it'll just go towards being able to cover those costs of medical uh, expenses as well as just typical living expenses that I'm not even sure what are going to pop up when it comes to being able to pay for my rent and just paying for food to put in my belly and then just with being in Nashville and my family living in Pittsburgh, it's just going to be a lot of going back and forth with travel and having the right support, being able to get people to where they need to be and just being able to fight this with people around me and I know it's going to come at a cost that myself and my family and those around me could have never imagined or have wished or wanted upon anybody. So right now, just because of where I'm at, I just ask for prayers and love when anything and still something that is so surreal and I know that there's something so much bigger that is coming out of this and so <laughs> by crying on camera and being able to share my story with others if it can help other people my age catch this sooner or just feel more open and able to talk about this then all of this will be worth it and I just know there's something so much bigger that is coming out of this and I can't wait for other people to see this journey and just see the smile on my face and be able to take the taboo that comes with being diagnosed with any kind of cancer, especially breast cancer at such a young age, 
and I just can't wait to see the growth and the woman I become on the other end of this and I know there's a, a positive light and just so much more for me at this age and just with everything that I have pictured for my life and I know it's just going to be another chapter in my book and I just look forward to seeing the people that can come together and just this community and the support that I've been able to build and I'm just so grateful for those that have been able to drop everything and just be by my side at this time and that are willing to give and love and pray for me unconditionally and I'm just so appreciative of those people and I can't express the gratitude and words truly can't express how much I've appreciated everything from everyone so far and I know this is going to be a journey and I just need support and community around me to get me through this for the times that are hard and I can't put a smile on my face are really going to be when I need people most and as stubborn as I am and as bad as I am at asking for help <laughs> by putting this out there I know that he will provide me the things that I need when I need them most and so I thank you all so much for your support and anything that you're able to give and pass on and pray and love and I am unconditionally grateful to anything that anybody's able to do to just help myself and my family during this time and just thank you so much. <laughs>